Afghanistan, a place in the foothill, has suffered a lot in the past and still people are fighting for survival. 55% of the total population are living below the poverty line in Afghanistan. Food insecurity is one of the major concerns. More than one third of the total population are estimated to likely experience severe acute food insecurity. People are affected the most by sudden and slow onset natural disasters, ongoing conflicts, cross-border movement and high unemployment rate. Food security cluster in Afghanistan was established in 2012 with an aim of uh, having a coordinated response across the country. At current, Food Security Cluster Afghanistan is led by FAO and WFP and co-chaired by WHH at national level. As you know, EFSAC is doing an invaluable job. It's a very important sector for us. It's, uh, it's a sector that uh, we are talking about real people. We are not just talking about numbers. And what EFSAC does is uh, make sense of all these numbers for us. At the government level, we are good at collecting data, but making sense of that data and really assessing and giving us true picture of what is really happening on the ground is what EFSAC is helping us to come to that conclusion. <laughs> The livelihood supported provided by FAO with its partners and the food assistance provided by WFP under the overall coordination of EFSAC has been taken as an exemplary uh, and even I was told by senior government officials that had you guys not reacted well in time it would have entered into another big disaster. Food and Livelihoods Assistance is one of the largest intervention in the humanitarian response plan in Afghanistan. In the last five years, FSAC advocated for the people in need and managed to raise $548 million fund assisting 13.5 million people by providing food and livelihood support. I think that the good resources given by the international donors and the government of Afghanistan for our food security and agriculture activities in the country are a good example that we have the trust of the donors and I believe that that's largely because food security and agriculture organizations have been doing an effective job as well as an efficient one in the country. FSAC is here to go to the people in need and to find the people in need and that the money, the funding allocated for activities that it comes by the right persons. Food security is one of the main agenda FSAC is fighting for in the last five years. In the future too, FSAC will continue to fight against hunger. <laughs>